play guys were lining up 10, 12 yards off you. Is that is that just pretty automatic when when you see that? Just you know that play is there. Yeah, definitely. And um, you know, it just comes from you know Brady trusting me, seeing the look, uh, just giving me a chance to make a play. That said, there were some plays where you have yards after the catch, you, you made some plays on your own. Uh, describe your night overall. Um, it was, I think I had a pretty good night. Uh, I left some plays out there. I'm still mad about it a little bit. I didn't get in the end zone on one of those plays. But, um, yeah, I was just trying to maximize every opportunity I got. And, uh, you know, Coach Pillar uh, made a rule, like, the first guy doesn't have to tackle you. So that stuck with me today. Yeah. Does not have to yeah, nah. We've heard in basketball when a player is like they feel like the, the basket just keeps expanding. As a wide receiver, what does it feel like when – Basically, every route you're open and you're getting the ball. Honestly, it was. I was just playing. I was just playing ball. Honestly, um, you know, I was just in my flow state, and I was just, you know, just focused on being my best and just keep helping this team. You know, just keep growing. Theo, when you look down at the end of the night, you see almost an identical number of rushing yards and passing yards for this team, holding the ball for 38 minutes. How key is that balance for you guys? Not just throughout the rest of this month, but moving forward into the SEC. Oh, that's key for sure. You know, good teams can run the football and they'll establish the run. Uh, the run game helps the receivers out 100%, you know, bring in safeties and whatnot. So, you know, it was great, you know, seeing us be balanced tonight. Um, you know, we're going to watch the film tomorrow and then we're going to attack it on Monday. It's a new week. Yeah, you talk about complimentary football. What does it do for an offense when you know your defense probably isn't going to give up a touchdown yeah. for two games? Shout out Death Row, man. They've been out there playing. I've been seeing the work they've been putting in throughout the week. So, you know, I'm, I'm glad to see a show on Saturdays. But, you know, it's, it's a confidence booster for us, you know, just knowing that the defense got our back because, you know, we started a little slow. But just knowing the defense had our back, you know, they'll come to us and uplift us a little bit. So, you know, it's, just, it's a confidence booster for sure. That's death row, man. I, I, you know, they, they out there flying around. Coach Batum doing a good good job disguising things, you know, sending pressures from different places. And then at the end of the day, you know, the, the, the plays are being made, you know, and we, we're making a lot of plays on defense. It's only two games into the season, but can you kind of put into words how, how for lack of a better word, how neat it is that all you guys came back, and because of that, there's probably some continuity that helps out on game day? Yeah, definitely. You know, so you're seeing similar faces. You're talking the same language again that we talked from last year. You know, it just, you know, it's just a different feel, honestly. Just like I was saying with the defense giving us a confidence booster. It's, you know, it's, we we got so many reps in this doing doing things that we do really well. You know, Coach Moore does a great job putting us in situations to execute. So you know, it, it's fun. I'm definitely glad I came back. Theo, one of the underclassmen who's been able to get a lot of reps through the first two weeks is Daniel Blood. Now tonight, obviously, Luther's out by halftime, gets in there more action as well. What type of growth have you seen from him since even last season? He didn't blink an eye when it happened. You know, he, he's prepared for this moment. He, he works as hard as he can every day. That's all the receivers, you know. We challenge each other. We, we compete at a high level every day just to keep pushing each other to be better. But, you know, Blood, um, Blood in particular, he, he's been working, honestly, and I'm, I'm glad to see it's been paying off for him. You know, I don't, don't want to say you didn't miss a beat, but Luther sick and, and limited numbers last week. What's it say about this this team that you still put up 89 points and he maybe hasn't gotten going like you expect him to? Yeah, I don't know if y'all know, but like, you know, one player isn't our whole team, you know. Of course, Luther's a great player, 100%. But, you know, we, we got a lot of guys that can go and that are ready to go, and y'all saw that tonight. Theo, yeah, we just had Marvin Burks in here, and he said you were really tough cover all summer. Um, what can you speak about Marvin in camp all summer and practice, and what have you seen from the defensive backs as a whole million times? Marvin in particular, I think it's his number change. I think him getting back in one, he, he got a little more swag to him a little bit. But, uh, you know, just – just putting in that extra work after practice with the guys, you know, after lifts, we'll go out there for 20, 30 minutes, just do little things. You know, it's nice to see it all, you know, play out on Saturday. Yeah, 9-15 on third down, 4-4 four, four in the red zone. That's a couple of things Coach Drake said he, he wanted y'all to focus on in fall camp. So I just feel that that work is kind of paying off the game. Though. We definitely still got some more work to do. Uh, we had a couple of penalties that put us in bad positions. But, you know, it's it's good to see us improving. You know, we definitely still got a lot of room for improvement on third downs. Yeah, what have you seen from Brady as he kind of settles back into the defense? 
season? 12 being the chef, man. Like, he's back there comfortable. You know, he's regulating the offense. You know, we all trust him. He's a warrior. He's a soldier. Everything he wanted the quarterback. So, you know, we all riding behind him for sure. Who did, the, uh, who did the tweets for you today? Leak Sneaks on Instagram. Yeah, she hooked me up. Anything else for you? All right. Thank you. Thank you.